Hello, I'm Sarah, this is Hardcover Hearts, and I'm here to introduce something I haven't done in a little while and I kind of missed, which is uh, to host some group reads. Uh, so I've done this in the past and really, really enjoyed it. And I do it specifically for books that I find are uh, potentially challenging, uh, have a real depth of information, and uh, maybe are really long, uh, complex. Uh, so the kind of the books that that it's handy to have a group of really smart people reading along with you. Uh, so I have two today that I'll talk about that I'd like to read next month and the month after. But let me first tell you a little bit about how I do my group reads in case your peak your curiosity is peaked, but you haven't done one with me yet. So I look at the books that I'm going to be that I'm going to be reading with people and I get a sense of how many Sundays there are in a month. I find that Sundays are really the best for check-ins for my schedule as well as a lot of other people's schedules. And so what I do is I divide up the book into the however many Sundays exist in that month. From there, uh, I take a look and to see if there's any natural um, organizational structure to the book that would allow for uh, or, or mean that I should adjust that a little bit. So for example, there may be a book that has four volumes uh, with kind of within it uh, that maybe don't align to the pagination that I was uh, going to suggest, but feels better to just stop at those natural points and have the discussion. So I'll, I'll I kind of make those determinations based on the book and its structure. And then we have a conversation every Sunday. And with Voxer, uh, in case you don't know, Voxer is an app for your smartphone and it's a walkie talkie type app. And so it's incredibly handy when you do something like this globally because people are able to check in from wherever they are in the world on their Sunday. And the message will be left for us to listen to as we leave our messages. Uh, so I find that to be incredibly handy. Uh, Voxer, I'll put some links to some information about it below. Um, it's free. There is also a, a uh, paid, paid membership that you can get, uh, which I do, but you could do the free one as well. Works perfectly fine. One of my few and fast rules for these types of things are that I, I like us to reserve and not say, not just open with, I like this or I don't like this. So I find that the conversations about your tastes and preferences um, tend to get people to harden on their stance and then try to convince each other. Whereas what I try to do with it, especially with a group read or a book club that I'm, that I'm hosting, is I want to draw out as many ideas as possible. And there have been times when I've walked into a book club or a group read expecting like, oh, I did not get on with that section. But through hearing the ideas, through hearing how other people related to that same section, uh, it has changed my mind at times. And so I really want to maintain that. And so, uh, you know, that's something if you, if you come to participate, keep that in mind. So those are the, that's simply it. So when, uh, when I when I go ahead and get started, I'll post the schedule and uh, of of where to stop, what the stopping point is, and and what the when the check in date is, and then people are free to just read throughout the week at their leisurely pace, and then uh, listen or check in whichever their preference is on that Sunday. Sound good? Okay, so let's talk about the books. So the first book that I'm really interested in reading, and uh, I think Eric Carl Anderson uh, definitely really loved this, and I think Bernie on Instagram really loved this. Uh, I, I was kind of a little not sure, but then I was like, well, let me try it. And this is the Booker International winner, Tomb of Sand by Jeetan Jolly Shri and translated by Daisy Rockwell. So that is this book. It is chunky. It's chunky. There's about, I think there's about 700 pages or so. Yeah, seven, looks like 735 or something like, yeah, 735. So in this one, we'll read about 185 pages, uh, give or take, every week. 
Uh, so again, reading a week, and we'll read this throughout the entire month of August. And then the other book, I've got this signed edition here, which I'm so excited to own. This is the book, Books of Jacob by Olga Tatarchek, and it is uh, translated by Jennifer Croft. Very pleased that both of the translators for that book and this one are both women and they're both noted on the book cover. So that is that book. Uh, and this one is a little different in that there are volumes, um, I think she calls them volumes, or books within. And so we'll try to read a, uh, based on those books and do the check-ins based on the books. Uh, some of them I'll pull together two books for one check-in. Uh, other ones it'll just be a singular one, depends on how thick that book is. So uh, this was, I think this was also in the grouping for the Booker International uh, shortlist, but did not win. So what I'd like to do is read this in September. And this one has about 800 pages in it. So it's a little, a little bit chunkier. But both of those months have four Sundays. And so it'll be a check in each of those Sundays. So now, if you are so interested, uh, let me know in the comments below, but most importantly, most importantly, and I cannot emphasize this enough uh, because I had a horrible time last time trying to get so many people into one Voxer group. I need you to go to a Google form if you're interested in joining us. Uh, the Google form is, uh, is gonna be linked below and I'm gonna have two Google forms. One will be for the Tomb of Sand and then the other will be for the Books of Jacob. If you're interested in joining both, uh, you know I would be highly delighted, um, but you'll just put your information in both places. And I'll let you know in, I'll put, a, put something about when I'm gonna close that uh, form. Uh, because you don't wanna, with the way that Voxer works, if you add people after you've already started, what happens is they miss the initial, the initial stuff and they only see what happens after they join. And so it's really important to, that I get a complete list in one place that I can reference as opposed to uh, with some of the other ones that I've done, I, in different videos, people would say they wanted to join and it, it kind of went all over the place. So I'm getting learned from that mistake. I'm trying to get a little bit better organized, but that's what we're going to do. So I would love for you to join if you are so inclined and interested and uh, we will start in August. Uh, but if you're interested, yeah, l just leave a comment down below if you're interested in reading these or if you have read them. But again, in order to actually join, you need to go to the Google form and sign up, please. So that's it for me for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to have uh, another group read on the go. Uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.